So I, I decided to to do these videos um, by following the the memories that I have during my different years at school, just because I spent a lot of more time there, and it feels like if I do that, at least it gives me some kind of baseline to to track where I'm at in in sort of my my general story. Um, so with that said, uh, I you know one of the earliest memories that I have. Of, of school is uh, my first day of school. I went to a daycare center right next to the 28th Street Elementary School. Uh, we used to call it La Guarderia. And my mom, right before she went to work, she would drop me off there. And I remember the first day of school, or not school, but I guess daycare. Um, I think it was raining, but I do remember walking towards the back of the of this complex and playing with one of those things where you have to move this this block around this um, sort of obstacle course made out of wire um, and I was pretty scared and I remember a kid coming up and saying hi and again this feels like more like a dream but then another teacher came over and, and she sort of um, welcomed me and that was the start of of my education um, I, I love that place uh, I remember my mom making sure that I always so let me back up it, it was interesting because every time you would go in the morning you would have to uh, make sure you wash your hands wash your feet show your hands and fingers um, and they would check that you were um, your fingernails were clean and if they weren't, you would have to go into the bathroom and make sure you were you were cleaning up, have, uh, clean you were clean, um, and then you would sign in. And my mom would always make sure that I would take a little gift for the the teachers there or the the helpers there. And I think, and I see it now with my wife. I think that sort of helped me getting sort of preferential treatment, not, not preferential treatment, but um, it was seen as sort of in a positive light. Uh, so strategically, I see, I see what my mom was doing. Maybe she didn't know she was doing it, but um, that was a good strategic move um, to help me along my path. Um, there, you know, I remember eating, I, I remember, you know, watching Reading Rainbow during lunchtime. There was a teacher, a totally cool teacher, Ms. Bradshaw. Uh, she told me how to, she taught me how to play a little bit of the piano, the harp. Uh, she would always during lunchtime she would turn on the TV and we would watch Reading Rainbow, and that was so awesome. Um, and yeah, it was cool. She made us you know go to sleep. And at first I used to hate taking naps, um, but in order to play to have activity time after nap time, you would have to show that you were sleeping so some of us would like put our heads down and and fake that we were sleeping um and then she would go around and drop off off this little thing that that indicated that yes we did fall asleep um, but after a while i kind of just fell asleep and it was good um yeah lunchtime breakfast you know it was all served there um every time it would rain i would feel super anxious I don't know why, because, I don't know why. I mean, it just, yeah, I don't know. It, it would feel like, okay, when are my parents getting here? It's raining. I want to go home, you know, where it's nice and warm. Um, but aside from that, I love that place. And and it was, you know, it was the first place I tried um, bagels with cream cheese. And I would always see Miss McGee eating her cream cheese with bagel. And she offered me some, and I was like, wow, this is really good. Um, but we're too poor to afford it, so it really, you know, we couldn't have any at home. So it was kind of like, oh man, that's fancy stuff. The other, the other core memory that I have there is, um, we were, we were making some, some fortune cookies. And in the process, the teacher told us, whoever makes cookies will get to eat them. So I hurriedly, hurriedly started making for a lot of fortune cookies, and you know, a, one of my one of the the table mates, 
she didn't do any cookies. She kind of just started bashing them and, you know, it was just, she wasn't helping at all. So once, once we did our fortune cookies, she took them over to, to actually bake. And once they were done, she brought them over and, and the girl that didn't help started eating them. And I was like, dude, you, you know, you didn't do any of them. And no, I got in trouble because the teacher said that's not fair. Like everyone should have them. And to me, it was quite the opposite. You know, she, she gave us those rules of, hey, if you don't make them, you're not going to eat them. And when I got in trouble, it was sort of like, wait a second, that's not okay. Uh, that's not fair. Um, but, but aside from that, the last day, I remember the last day that I was there, or at least the day that I was told, okay, now you're old enough to go to that big school, elementary school. That was interesting. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, etc.